Inside penetration goes to Benson. Back to Corcoran. Corcoran working inside and scores the first goal of this afternoon's championship final. That was Giving up just over nine goals per game. A bullet shot and a score for the Quakers, Lely De Simone. They just need to get on the same page and take some hard looks at Cage. Sarah Lloyd, a hard shot on Cage, it deflects off of Lucy Ferguson and in. Princeton rapidly off its second draw control win, takes it into the attacking third and makes the deposit. As the fans pleased with what just developed. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Aaron Seifer comes up with a huge draw control. They get it down. Made by Princeton and lacrosse. Not just on the women's side. Williamson, a high shot, and she finds the upper left corner of the goal. Seifer dodging, lost it. McMunn with a chance. McMunn sends it in. Great heads up play by Aaron McMunn. And it's a hat trick for Aaron McMunn and her 10th record-setting goal of the tournament. Five seconds to go. Benson, through the double team, races up the field as time expires. Penn knocks off its rival for Ivy League Championship Tournament title number three. Great showing by Penn all around. They truly played a 60-minute game out there from start to finish. They did. The second half was much more even, but Penn had established that 6-0 run and were able to hold on. Karen Corbett achieved the all-time career wins record as head coach for Penn earlier this season, helped lead the Quakers to a historic eighth consecutive Ivy title, and now Penn, for the third time in five years and for the first time in the history of the Ivy tournament, back-to-back -to -back title winners, it is the Quakers taking down Princeton by the final score of nine to six.